you clicked on this video, I'm guessing it's because you are either a fan or not so much of Kim Kardashian and her brand Skims. If you can't tell from my outfit, um, which I guess you can't see the full thing, I am a big fan of Skims and Kim Kardashian, and I have had good experiences with them in the past. This video was supposed to be a full haul and try on for you guys of things that she was selling for Black Friday, but unfortunately, this is the only thing that we got. So um, yeah, I had a big fun video instead. This is more gonna be like a little story time of my personal experience and what happened with the Skims Black Friday sale. Kind of a weird story time, but if you don't know who I am, my name is Zoe. I do social media for a living. I live in New York City and I post on this channel about beauty, fashion, fitness, and lifestyle. So if you like any of those things, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're not interested in Skims or Kim Kardashian, uh, this is probably gonna be a boring story time. So go click on another video and enjoy that instead. Okay, if you're still here, I'm sure you have your coffee, your drink, whatever, and you're ready for the full story time. Basically what happened was that Kim announced via email, and by the way, when I say like Kim, it's just probably her people. And this video is in no way meant to like bash or like harm her or the brand in any way. It's literally just my experience and what happened since I did have this big full video planned. She announced via email that she was going to be having a Black Friday sale, like a secret private Black Friday sale just for people who were signed up via email. So on Black Friday, you got a link along with a little password so that you could have access to that sale. So it made it seem like it was going to be this amazing sale, there was going to be so much stuff in the sale and it was going to be a small select group of people, which you will learn is not the case. So I will pop up on the screen what I wound up ordering. What I really wanted was the bras. I've been lounging around in the house. It's COVID. I really don't leave my apartment. So I was looking for more like comfy loungy bras versus ones with an underwire. So that's what I really wanted and then I wound up getting the cork control thong, which is something that I've wanted for a long time, but just never purchased. And then I bought two other pairs of underwear just to go with the bras. And really I only spent the money on the two extra pairs of underwear because she was doing $75 free shipping. So if I hadn't gotten them, I would have been paying the same amount of money and just been paying for shipping, if that makes sense. Total, which again, um, I will pop up for you guys, was $79.95 for the five items and I was so excited. I literally waited, I like set an alarm on Black Friday since I was off that day and I knew I was gonna sleep in. I set an alarm for 12 p.m. It was like 11.59, I logged into my computer, I was like refreshing, logged in with the password, was like clicking everything. First off the bat, I noticed that a lot of stuff was already sold out or not available or they only had like three of them in a size 2x or something like that so there was already limited quantities but i was excited because i ordered everything and my order was placed that was black friday which was november 27th i just received this in the mail today so it's been 20 days which by the way i'm aware this is not like a bra emergency there's so many more important things going on that need to get shipped so i just like I'm not complaining about that. I'm just throwing that out there that it did take a long time. When I ordered this set, which was over the summer, it was literally in my mailbox in this like beautiful packaging in like a week. So I was surprised that um, this took 20 days to receive. What happened after I placed my order was I got, <laughs> sorry, could you hear Bo Boots has been moaning like an old man this morning. Um, I don't know what's up with her. <laughs> But I placed my order, then like a few days later, I got an email that said one of your items has shipped. So I'm like, weird, it was just one pair of underwear that had shipped, I'm like, weird, like I thought they would be shipping all together, but oh well, maybe that piece is shipping and then something else is gonna ship out later. But then the next day, I received an email from them that said, essentially due to inventory and the large volume of orders, we were only able to fulfill a portion of your order. You know, we apologize, you're not gonna be charged for it. 
And then they did offer a 50% off of the next full price purchase that I was gonna make. So they did give that code and it's good for 30 days, which um, is coming up. So I still haven't decided if I will be trying to purchase something else or not, but I was so disappointed. The sale was like final sale and everything. So basically I spent $14, which is in my mind, a lot of money for a pair of underwear on a pair of underwear that I didn't even really want. Um, and I literally just bought because otherwise I was gonna have to pay shipping. That's basically the story. And I immediately went onto Twitter when I got that email just to check like, hey, what's going on? Is it just me? Like what's happening? And I'll pop up on the screen some of the tweets that I was seeing. But essentially this was happening to everyone and people are having mixed reviews. Some people are just so excited that they got a 50% off coupon to use and other people are like, what the heck? Because the other thing to note is that they're shipping out items that are no longer gonna be in stock. So like everything that I had wanted, it's not like, oh, I'll go on now and just reorder it. Everything that I had wanted is now like no longer available, doesn't exist on the website anymore. So that's really disappointing that you thought you were getting this item and now it's like, even if you wanted to buy it full price, you can't. So it does seem like Obviously like scam is a very large word to be throwing around, but it does seem like they were trying to pull a little bit of a fast one on the customers and either something wasn't right with the number that they inputted in their website and there was too many sales happening or they just made it seem like they had inventory and made people have these massive carts and then were only shipping the few items that they actually had in stock. So. It's unclear what happened and I was really surprised after seeing all the tweets that um, nobody responded. Like there was no response on the Skims Twitter or on Kim's Twitter account. So a lot of disappointed people, including myself, and it sucked that there was no answers. I don't, I'm like not really sure what else to say because there are just a lot of unknowns about what happened, but it did seem like she used the Black Friday sale to get rid of all of the excess inventory. So they said, put everything up on the website that's old, put it on 50% off, sell it, and then only ship out whatever, you know, we have in stock. So that seems like what they did, which to me is just a greedy marketing method and it makes it seem like you have stuff in your warehouse that you don't. So it'd be one thing if it happened to a select few amount of people, but I was reading like hundreds of tweets on Twitter saying that. And yeah, so I don't know at this point, obviously I lo like, I love her stuff. Her stuff is comfortable. I have this from, I think it's from the Cozy Collection on now. Yeah, there's nothing, even like logging onto the website now to use the 50% off that I now have, there's nothing on there that I'm like, oh, I really want that. So everything that I really wanted was in the Black Friday sale and is now unfortunately gone. That being said, we do have one little thing in this envelope that's hopefully in there. Let's open it, see what we got. It's so funny, like this massive envelope and this is the pair of underwear that I got. And it says $13.99, which is what I paid for it. On it, it says, I'm not plastic. This is regularly $28, which $28 for a pair of underwear? Like, I, I can't. Ooh, this feels really soft. Okay, this looks small. So I ordered the size small slash medium and this was $28 originally. I paid $13.99 and it is the Seamless Rib Brief. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm not gonna try it on because I feel like there's only one thing to try on and it's weird if I just try on a single pair of underwear. But really soft, I mean they look cozy and it has like the two layers on the inside. I have a new pair of underwear. If I was given the option to have canceled the purchase, I would have just canceled this. But because again, final sale, they're only shipping out what they have in stock, I am now, I don't wanna say stuck, but like you don't have an option if they're shipping this out still or not. I now am the owner of a pair of Skims underwear that I didn't really want. And this probably is just a lesson to myself to not buy things online as much as I do. I think that's it for this video. This was just like a little story time sharing what happened. And um, now I have this pair of underwear that honestly might be too small on me and my sister might be getting this. So Rio, if you're watching, um, you could have a pair of underwear coming your way. I know her stuff stretches out like crazy. So this might stretch and fit me. 
But yeah, I think that's it for this video. A very weird story time. I don't normally film things like this, but yeah, I just thought since I was gonna film a Skims haul, might as well film a Skims mini haul with one item. If you guys are interested in seeing more from the brand, I do have that 50% off. So comment down below if I should buy something else, if I should do a try on and buy more things from them. Obviously, like I am hesitant to buy anything after having that experience, but I did have a good experience, as I said. I guess I could show you guys. Um, this is the outfit that I have. Let me like pull you back. So I have the shorts, which I love, and then the top, which is really cozy. Let me know if you wanna see more from the brand in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload brand new videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. I'm sorry if it was long and boring, and thank you for making it to the end with me if you did. I love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing, fabulous, day and wishing you all the best. <laughs>